Wait a minute. This isn't the right clip. Let's take it back to last night. I know I'm crazy. I know this is bad for me, and I'm still checking the calorie count. But you know what? Sometimes this is the best midnight snack, and I know some of you will agree with me on that. If you know, you know. So, I had a pretty bad day today. I'm just gonna say that. I've been thinking quite a bit today and、um, talking to myself a lot. And I gotta say, I'm、uh, pretty tired. Even though I didn't have to work today, you know, my life still went on. I still had to drive the kids around, pick them up, cook dinner, clean, fold laundry. Yeah, I'm always doing laundry. So, you know what? Can you guess what I'm gonna do tonight? That's right. I am doing nothing. I don't have to work tonight because I got fired. Those baskets of laundry that's just sitting there, I'm not gonna fold them. I'm gonna take my hot ramen in a cup. Sit down comfortably. Turn on the computer, watch some Netflix, and satisfy my craving. I'm telling you, best midnight snack. And it tastes even better while I'm watching K drama. So it's the next morning, and I'm up. I mean, I could lie down here for a little bit more, but it's kind of nice to have the morning to myself before I have to start getting the kids ready. Does anyone else enjoy looking at the morning light? It's so nice and quiet. Sometimes you just need that alone time. And I need my coffee. I'm still a bit mentally drained from all the thinking. I can just take a nap later, but I'm not going to because I have a lot of stuff to do at home. But I also have things that I want to do in the future, and so I need to figure that out. And I know if I want something to happen, I need to make it happen. No one's g o n n a do it for you. I mean, everyone's busy. You have to just do it for yourself. Take it day by day, one step at a time, even if the first step is getting dressed. Hi, guys! My name is Ying. I figured it might be easier for me to just pop up in front of the camera and、uh, talk to you guys about, you know, where's my head at. If you watch my video, you'll know that I lost my job recently.、Um, I've been there for about nine years. I'm a mother of two. I have a three year old and a five year old. I have a great husband, very supportive. And, you know, I'm really lucky to have that. Like I said in my video, I'm very fortunate that. 
I don't have to find work right away. But you know, I think for myself, um, the way I was raised, you know, I'm first generation. Um, my mother has always instilled into me that you have to work hard to succeed. You have to put all your effort into everything that you do. The thing is that, you know, I want to be able to work. I want to be able to pursue something that I'm really interested in. You know, it's just something that is for me. And um, I also like to make my own money. Even though I'm married, I don't think it's right that I don't contribute in some ways. A friend told me that I have to value what I contribute to the household. And it's right, you know, you really think about it, you know, I uh, take care of the kids, I cook, I clean, you know, all of that. But for me, I still need to find something that I love to do, like something for myself. So let's talk about some of the work experience that I've had. I worked in marketing for about two years, um, wasn't for me. Then I moved into fashion jewelry industry and um, loved it. And I was in the product development slash production department. And it was really great because a lot of problem solving and really using your creativity. So that's something that I really love. And the reason why I left that job is just because it was just way too demanding in terms of like, the amount of hours I worked, I remember I worked till like 3 in the morning, just the amount of travel. So I left and I tried to start something on my own. I started a company and um, it was really hard because I also still had a full-time job. I had a fear that the business wouldn't work out and so, you know, eventually I had a burnout. So I decided to stay with something that was just safe. Do I regret my decision? No, not really. Because I've been there for so long, they allow me the flexibility that I needed in terms of like, you know, if the school called, I was able to rush to my kids' school right away and, um, you know, pick them up. And, you know, that happened quite often. So the job that I was recently let go of, I did a lot of travel and admin work. Since the pandemic, um, you know, travel has gone down. A lot of folks are not doing um, in-person conference, they're doing a lot of Zoom meetings, so the demand for my job has definitely went down, and so they had to eliminate my position. Um, you know, am I mad? Am I sad? Yeah, so I, I, I think it's a little bit of both, but I think um, everything happens for a reason. I know people say that all the time, but I really think it does. So during the pandemic, I was home with the kids, and uh, my job switched over to part-time, which, you know, was fine because, you know, I had to take care of the kids, right? My daughter, she watches YouTube shows, and uh, she watches the ones that had the toy reviews. So I wanted her to watch something a little bit more educational, but she wanted to watch something, you know, with her favorite character. So I actually went to Skillshare.com and figured I'd, you know, take some lessons on how to do video editing. Great program, I love it. There was a bit of a learning curve. As I did more and more videos, it became easier. And so the first two videos went up and uh, I think it did pretty well. My kids enjoyed it. They still ask to watch the videos and it makes me feel good when they actually say that. And things got better with COVID. The kids went back to school, actually joined the PTA, but our, kid, our school calls it PTO and um, my job went back to full time. So thing was, things were back to normal, um, but I didn't have time for the videos anymore. So again, I had to give up something that I enjoyed. So from joining the PTO, I also created a end of year montage. I think it came out pretty well. Um, it actually took me three months to complete because of like the whole process, you know, working with the school and everything, but you know, I really enjoyed it. Which brings me back to here. I watch a good amount of shows. Um, you know, sometimes I'll get into like a Netflix show, Disney shows with my kids, but, but the one program I usually go to is YouTube and I'll watch most of my favorite YouTubers. I also go on to YouTube to find out how to do certain things, look up recipes, and you know, I've been thinking maybe it makes sense for me to create content. So I think what makes the most sense for me is to do content creation because, you know, I have many interests that, you know, I like to share 
and um, I hope you know people will enjoy the you know videography or cinematography and I hope I can build a community who I can also learn from so I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, make sure you leave a comment let me know what you think about it it'll definitely help me out um, let me know what you want to see next and make sure you subscribe so you get that notification when I post a new video and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next one thank you Am I going to, um, for, I say over...